Hello, my name is Mrs. Rosser, and I teach photo one, photo two, and IB photography. It's uh, pronounced Rosser, R-O-S-S-E-R. -S -S and um, I'm a photography teacher at LQ. I've been doing it, this is my eighth year doing this. So, um, welcome. Uh, so, just to explain how photography fits into your, your child's schedule is that Students have to take a certain amount of elective credits. They plan to go to a Cal State University or UC. They need to have one year of visual art. So um, my class meets both those requirements. And um, my class also leads up to photo two, the advanced part of photo one, and IB photo. And that's uh, an IB photo is a weighted class. So um, you can take that as well. Uh, photography one, we go over basic concepts of, of photography. We do um, using the camera, editing photos, analyzing photos, art history, all those basics. And then in photo two, we go into more advanced techniques, more conceptual photography, um, more artistic photography. So some of the photo assignments are more in depth and also using um, different techniques. And IB, oops, sorry. IB photography also does the same thing, but um, they have specific components that you have to fulfill for the test. And so each student um, does a portion of this. If they're testing, if they're full diploma testing, they have to complete all of these, all of these requirements. So that would be your exhibition IA, the comparative study, the process portfolio, those three things. And so the exhibition, that's the stuff that I grade in class. Then that's like always an ongoing process. The comparative study is basically an essay that you turn into IB. You have to upload that to IB and the process portfolio. That's a journal um, pretty much saying, you know, what did you do in this class um, and what did you get out of it? That's what you upload as well to I to IB. So, um, so if you're wishing to take the test, it, you have to do you have to fulfill all those requirements. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to test. Um, but students can always take an IB course without actually testing for the IB test. Um, but the expectation for IB course is, of course, you know, to 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 fulfill that like college requirement. So the best way to reach me is email and um, like erica.rosser at desertsands.us. It's a good way of um, me quickly responding back to you. However, um, you know, if you need a phone call, then of course, you know, they'll direct you to me. But if I'm teaching a class, then I won't be able to pick up the phone. So it's best to just kind of reach me via email. And then everything is on Google Classroom for the students. If their students are sitting in my class, they already have that code. And so it's it should be on their Chromebook and all the assignments that are accessible for them at home and at school are there. Uh, if we do something in class, then they can make up for it like later, but it's not as, I rather them make up for it on Google Classroom. So that is, where they can get most of their grades from is all the assignments that are on there. So once again, if you have questions, just email me. Okay, thank you for watching.